Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over this tool from GeForce. It is a spring rate gauge. This is the second version. And it's a three-step measurement process. And it gives you uh, newtons per centimeter. So um, let's say you've got several sets of springs here and you don't know who manufactures them. You've got the color code, of course. Uh, but even then, you could have the color code, could it be scraped off with age, and you have no idea what rate these springs are, and you're trying to set up your car. Well, you can take the springs, and like you've got two sets of fronts here, you put one in, in and write down your measurement, and then you put the next one in, and you'll know which one is harder than the other. And let's say you've got a bunch of different springs by different manufacturers, um, and yeah, you can go in and see what they say they are rated for, but that may not actually be accurate. And if you use this process where you measure each one of them, like let's say you've got uh, three by um, TLR and you've got a couple by associated, you can see where those associated springs fit in between the TLRs and uh, figure out, you know, what's your gradient and then you can try them in order of stiffness, trying to get your, your setup correct. So uh, I think this is a very handy tool to have. Um, they're not very expensive. Well, I guess it depends on your uh, how much money you spend into your hobby. They're about $80, $90 um, on eBay. And uh, there's a little assembly required, nothing dramatic. Um, and then you just plug it into a DC power source. Uh, probably uh, a USB port would do. In any event, I will be uh, showing you the assembly and actually showing you it in action as I figure out uh, which one of these springs I'm going to use initially and what their weights are. Now, this is all in Japanese or Chinese, um, but I'm going to put a link in the description below. You can download an English version in PDF format. It's too bad it doesn't come assembled because then we would have a box large enough to hold it um, because this isn't something I'm going to want to disassemble and reassemble on a regular basis. It would be nice to be able to take it to the track, at least from time to time. So I guess I'll have to look around for a box to hold it assembled.
Okay, it says 6 to 15 volts input, so we have a pretty broad spectrum of uh, voltages that we can use. And they recommend us having this little rubber pad in place. So that gives us the height of the spring, which is oh, 68 millimeters, of course. Interesting. So we've got. We can measure at different levels of pressure. So in at this setting with this line over here, we can do two millimeters. Over here, we can do five millimeters. Over here, eight millimeters. And over here, 10 millimeters. I'm not 100% sure what we're gaining from that. I'm going to have to tinker with this a little bit. Okay, so I got it zeroed and I'm using the 10 millimeter setting. Press that down, let it settle. 7.35. So let me write that down. That's the dark red. Seven point three five. Let's go to the pink. Okay, you get the spring in place, uh, anchor it down just on its weight. Okay, you got it zeroed. Turn it over to 10 millimeter, press down. And this one is 5.74. Now, I'll tell you, when you take these side by side in your fingers, I, I cannot tell any difference. They, they seem the same to me. But there's a, actually a substantial difference. Um, one is almost six, and the other is just a little over seven. 7.35 versus 5.74. Um, that's a pretty big difference. But you wouldn't know that by feel. So let's try the front springs. Now that I know the pinks are the softer, which is where I'm going to start out. And let's try the short pinks, the fronts. So again, you loosen it, let it drop down onto it. just on its own weight, like that. Tighten it down. The 
the zero button is a little finicky. There we go. Okay. Move it to the 10 slot. Press down. 7.88 and this is gold front Seven point two five. Now that's a difference you definitely never feel with your hands. Seven point eight eight versus seven point two five. This is a super handy tool. I like it a lot. So that's how this works. Easy enough. Um, I uh, I found a uh, adapter that I had uh, that uh, fits this plug and uh, puts out 12 volts, which is within the realm of 16 to six to 15 volts, which is what this can handle. So I already have a power cord, and it comes with this little sucker here that you could use a uh, uh, like a power output for a um, for a charger or uh, you could plug it into a battery pack potentially things of that nature so very nice I like it